Okay, here we are in our yard, bringing the odd nuke back. Uh, I have more over on the other side, but I'm um, just going to do a quick video of how to put a queen cage in of the of the cages that I sell. So they're a Jay Z Beezy queen cage. Um, when you get them. A good idea to just take a little bit of candy out of the end in case it gets hard on the trip because the underside's okay because the bees will keep eating on it and that'll keep that soft but the top part could get hard because it's exposed to the air and the rest of the tube's in plastic so it won't get hard right um, so I'm just going to do it in this little nucleus colony here I know what's going on in here just go through check for cells if there's any cells uh, you can either open them up check them for a larvae if there's a larvae you could scoop it out and get rid of it totally or you could just fold that cup closed um, depends on how big of a rush you're in right so you just check See if there's any cells. I'm not necessarily going to get them all, but if you can get something that they have started already, um, then you're you're saving yourself a queen. Because sometimes if they start a cell already, they'll kill the queen when she comes out. Okay. Now this frame here is a good candidate for uh, putting in a queen cell because. All these cells up here that look like they're empty, they're all full of eggs. So that would be a good place to, pl uh, to place the queen cell. Um, sometimes you'll get the whole thing will be a whole frame of brood and you just have to press it into the brood. That's just the way it is. Or you can press it into the next frame, the frame next to it. And then it'll come up against that brood, but maybe not squish it so much. So. I'll just do that so you just take the thing uh, people put them in all different directions uh, my preference is to put it in slightly sloped down um, that way if there's any dead workers in here it's easier for the other bees to get them and clean them out don't go too far down or they have the weight of the whole bee that they have to move so this way or you could have it tipped up just depends on how you look at it. Bees will eat through it. They can push the dead workers out of the way. Now one of the reasons you might have dead workers is that they sting somebody when they're putting them into the cell. Um, that would be me. <laughs> anyway, um, so you just put it in, pull the frames together, put your hive back together. There you go. Leave it for uh, people leave it for all different type numbers of time. Um, I put them in and I go into them the next two days just to kill cells because I don't elevate my brood so um, I have lots of stuff for them to work on to make queens out of so I want to save my queen so I go in the next couple days and just check and kill any cells. If the queen is just about to get out of the cell, I'll sometimes just close back up and leave them alone because at that point, that's the most important point. Um, they, when she comes out of the cell, they'll either call her or they will, um, they'll either ball her or they'll accept her, one or the other, right? Um, even if they ball her lots of times, they still accept her. So. Anyway, that's uh, I'm just going to do the other side while I'm here because there's two sides to this box. It's got two nucleus colonies in it. One five frame and one four frame. This is how I transport my colonies here. And then I'll take and put them in like a five frame nuke box or something. Make sure they have lots of room. I don't want them getting silly on me here at home because I don't want to have to do even though I go through them every couple days if I ever have a time that I want to do um, 
something else, then I have to be able to be able to leave these girls for a day or two without actually checking them out, see how they're doing. Anyway, oh, that one stung me. Oh well. Um, so this one, like it has a better frame of brood, and there's friggin' older larvae in there. You, you don't really want to stick your cage in there if you don't have to. It's not going to hurt. If you do, you lose it. Uh, the brood may still hatch out um, just fine, but um, you'll find out about me that I'm a little anal with some things, which is totally ridiculous with the amount of work that I need to do. But um, all these frames are good, but I'll just I'm just going to press this one into this other frame again. Um, take that little bit of candy out of the end in case it gets hard. And move your bees out of the way a little bit. Press it in so that the end is exposed. Okay, so the bees can get at it. Put that in right against the brood because you know that's where the bees are going to be. So that's where you want that cell. Okay. That one's done. Closed up. Hope that helps somebody.